Hey, what up, YouTube? Uh, I'm going to do a mail day and uh, a plug for a buddy for a sub contest. Uh, go over and check out Puff Bear 359. Puff Bear 359. Look in the description box. And uh, all his info will be there, so just click on the link, subscribe, and check out his uh, sub contest. He's looking for 100 people. He's currently at like 51, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can get him past, past 100. So uh, let's hook him up. Good guy quickly becoming a friend of mine on YouTube, so uh, go check him out. He's His sub contest, he's giving away three lots with some jersey cards and some autos. About 30 cards all in all, so it's, uh, it's worth going over and checking out and subbing at least for a chance at his contest. Uh, but let's get him up to, to 150 if we can. And my melody. Uh, it's got another premier card. got Kevin O'Connell. So nothing spectacular, but it's... Uh, for the set that I have behind me. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare. But I actually taped them to the back of that. So it, it looks cool. I'll have it all opened up and take a real good video once I'm done. Need like four more cards. Need a, uh, a Shard Mending Hall, which is on the way from Upper Deck. Uh, it was a redemption. And I need a Kevin Smith. And I keep getting outbid on these freaking things because of the time difference here. So I bid on them, go to bed, and the lot ends at like 4 o'clock in the morning. So uh, I put a decent amount on it, and I wake up, and I'm, I lose every single time by, like, 50, 51 cents, I think. I've lost by a penny before, so I uh, get pretty frustrated, but on the weekends, if I can catch a good one, uh, I'll snag a few here and there. I just bought a pretty sick patch card of uh, Donnie Avery. Yeah. I can't remember who else I need. But anyway, uh... I got a mail day from Lugnut. Billy, appreciate it, buddy. This was from a while ago. He actually mailed this on, like, the 13th, but because I'm military station in Germany, uh, it usually takes anywhere from a week to six weeks for me to get my stuff. And on this particular uh, mail day, it took a long time. Even in my rant video that I did over the weekend, crybabying about how uh, I'm sick of this stuff, I completely forgot about this one. And uh, I remember now, in my drunken haze, uh, telling Lugnut that I didn't get his crap yet, but anyway, he's he's a friend of mine, so he knows I wasn't upset with him, it's just how it works over here, but I got a Grant Sutton rookie card, I'm not going to look at the numbers or nothing like that, I don't even know if these are numbered, but Blake Griffin rookie card, a different kind of Blake Griffin rookie card, a uh, team leaders, Marcus Canby, Al Thornton, and Baron Davis, uh, insert card, retired numbers, John Stockton, uh, Blake Griffin, I'll look at this one, see if there's a number on it, there's not, uh, a Blake, Blake Griffin jersey card, so who knows if these are good or not, we'll see, to be determined, I was telling my wife, Paul, this lot would be really nice uh, prior to the basketball season where he got hurt. These prices were up pretty good for his stuff, but 77 out of 299 out of the two Blakes on there, or the two Griffins on there. So we got Taylor Griffin, I think it's his name, and then Blake Griffin. Yeah, Taylor, who plays for Phoenix. And then I got this bad baby right here. Hopefully this turns out to be something good, but it's a sweet card anyways. Number 45 of 449, Blake Griffin. So yeah, I cry a lot. Oh, I don't get crap, I don't get crap, but really, uh... I do okay, but uh, I was drunk, and uh, I did the right thing, though. I canceled my credit card, and I still haven't really been black. back on blog yet. Uh, did delete my account, and uh, I don't regret that. Uh, but I got a feeling I'll, I'll recreate my blog, uh, but I'm going to leave my credit card on hold. But I did get $9,220 back on my taxes, so my 10000 credit card, $10,000 debt on my credit card just kind of disappeared, so... I'll pay that off this month, and uh, yeah, that's really nice, so all I have now is my truck debt, so if the military kicks me out, which, for you, those of you guys that don't know, I'm getting kicked out because I've had back surgery, I screwed my back up in Iraq in 06, and I've been battling the military ever since to fix me, I'm too young, so they don't want to do any more surgeries, I've already had two, uh, not real big surgeries, minor surgeries, but I've got some real bad issues with my neck. And uh, if you had to see me turn to my left, you'll see me move like a robot. Uh, doesn't really hurt that much. It's just annoying. It's like having a stiff neck every day. 
But I'm limited to what I can do as far as PT and stuff because of the doctors. And if you can't PT and you can't go back to Iraq, the military doesn't want you. So they're trying to tell me that they're going to release me without any money. So, uh, yeah, that's why I was stressed out. So I don't really drink much. So I got to drinking over the weekend. Uh, got addicted to Chad's breaks. Entered four of them. Got one card. And that just kind of set me off for the time that I've been having. Uh, but the support that I've gotten from you guys. I'm sorry I'm rambling on. It's like 5.30. So uh, I'll probably talk for another minute or two. So feel free to click the X anytime you want to if you're done hearing me bullshit. Uh, been a while since I've talked, like a week now since I've been on YouTube, so I'm having withdrawals. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, kind of uh, kind of emotional to see all the responses that I've been getting and all the people on here to uh, to know that you have, it's weird to know that you have a computer family, a YouTube family. I feel like I'm as close to some of you guys as I am to the people that are here. Cause being in the military, it's hard to get you find a friend, you get attached to him, and next thing you know, you're gone for six months in the desert. He's gone for six months when you come back, and then they move, and it's really, really difficult to, to make really good friends. And with you guys, as long as, long as you know, the computers don't go away, I'm pretty sure most people are probably going to stick around YouTube to their old-ass men. It's enjoyable. It's a lot of fun. There really are some good people on here. I get kicks out of stuff. Especially like Chad's video. If you haven't seen the Truth new video, uh <laughs> where he found some bogus card, uh, pretty crazy card, you need to go check it out, uh, he wants to know if you think it's real or not, stuff like that keeps me around, man, uh, you guys really are, we're like a big, big happy family on here, so, uh, I appreciate all the support, and, uh, maybe you'll catch me back on blog, but I need to stay away from breaks, but anyway, I guess I can let you guys go, uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say, just, just cool to see how many people actually uh, care about people on here and have good things to say instead of, you know, if I tell my friends, oh, I'm not buying baseball cards no more, and my friends here, they're like, good, you're a fucking faggot, you shouldn't collect baseball cards anyways, you're 30 years old, like, well, bitch, first off, you're the faggot for not collecting cards, I'm not 30, I'm 31, and uh, I'll collect these until the day that I die, so, uh, yeah, get off my ass, alright? So it's cool I can talk to you guys about it, and I got nothing but, you know, A, they always be here, come back when you want to, you're really cool on here, we enjoy your videos, you know, not not a bunch of crap like my fag friends here gave me, so, alright, I'll quit rambling on YouTube, you guys take care, have a good one, again I appreciate it, Puff Bear 359 description box, that way, this way, that way, shit, sure, later.